uh, when we sample these rocks, you know, the first thing we do is we pick them up and we take an image of them so that we get a good picture of what they look like. Honestly, at, at that stage, don't really know what the rocks are because they're all coated with this iron manganese crust. So when they come up, we do an initial description of the rocks, basically how big are they, kind of how much do they weigh, what do they look like on the outside. And then we have a rock saw set up on deck. So it has a, a specialized blade that is coated with diamond dust around the edge. So you're not actually slicing the rock, you're grinding it away. And so we push the rocks through this, this rock saw and then we get a look at what's on the inside. And so we go through a process of describing the rocks on this expedition, we've seen a lot of volcanic rocks, basalt, so we describe how many vesicles are in there, what kind of crystals are in there, right. how altered they are, how thick that iron manganese crest is. Look at the Atalanta view, that slab below it. That's a really cool shot. Uh, but we've also seen lots of other types of rocks, so sedimentary rocks, basically, either made up of volcanic material or carbonate material, and some rock that we can't really fully describe. This is really weird. Whoa. That's not what I was expecting. What no. is that? So once they're described and imaged, we take pictures of them and we bag them up and we'll send them back to shore where uh, more scientists will get a chance to look at them in a lot more detail. Where does the manganese crust coating come from? So it comes directly out of the seawater. It precipitates from seawater and it's made of the two main components are iron and manganese. It's ferromanganese encrusted, so you know it's super Very old. Very old, yep. If it's already ferro-encrusted. Like millions of years? Probably. Wow. I mean, it kind of depends how thick the crust is, but just having any sort of coating of crust just proves that it is very old. But there's lots of trace components of rare metals that exist in seawater in very low concentrations, but over time get concentrated in these crusts. Elements like cobalt and lanthanum and terbium, these are all metals that we use. Everyone's got some in their pocket, in their iPhone, and they're wow. in solar panels and, and electric car batteries right. and, and all manner of electronics as we move into a green economy future. Right.